Welcome everybody to Pete Does Voices. Uh, I have not uploaded on here in a very, very long time. Um, but with that being said, there's a very good reason why I am back right now. Uh, I'm sure as you can see in the title, or as maybe someone has mentioned to you before watching this, uh, yesterday, Tom Kenny, the great Tom Kenny, he ended up reviewing an impression that I did on this channel almost two years ago, about a year and a half ago maybe, of Heifer from the, uh, the Nickelodeon TV show from the 90s, Rocco's Modern Life. And as you guys know, I do impressions on this channel, obviously in different voices. And Vanity Fair was doing this, you know, uh, tw uh, 20 year ce uh, celebration of SpongeBob, SpongeBob being on, on the air for 20 years. And they put this whole thing together. And I'm gonna explain that in a little more detail. But um, this is just amazing. So without further ado, let me explain what happened. Okay, so it's a little lengthy, so I'm gonna make sure I try and get it all out there. Make sure I got everybody's attention right now. Comment checkpoint two in the chat if I got everybody and if you're watching on the replay. So here we go. So yesterday around, I guess like 5.45 p.m. Eastern time, so around six, 5.45, six, I was getting ready to leave my leave my apartment with my girlfriend. We were gonna go get some dinner. I saw in one of my chats for an upcoming live stream that I had set up, I saw somebody in the chat say from, uh, actually I should say his name. His name is Pablo Juarez. And he says, Pete, I saw you on the Tom Kenny impression video. That's crazy. So I had no idea what he's talking about, right? And I'm just thinking to myself, what could that be? I mean, Tom Kenny is a huge name. And for those of you who do not know who Tom Kenny is, well, first off, everybody in the chat, comment 333 if you know who Tom Kenny is. Comment 444 if you do not know who Tom Kenny is. Okay, I'll give you a second. Everybody in the chat. And everybody in the chat, say what's up. Okay, so, all right, so maybe some people know who he is. Okay, Tom Kenny is SpongeBob SquarePants from Nickelodeon. Everybody knows SpongeBob. Comment 777 if you know who SpongeBob SquarePants is and comment 888 if you don't, which is crazy because you must have been living under a rock because it's been going on for 20 years. Uh, Tom Kenny's a huge name. He's uh, He was like the wizard guy from Adventure Time. He was Dog from Cat Dog on Nickelodeon. And he was also Heifer from the Nickelodeon show Rocco's Modern Life, which actually happens to be one of my top favorite uh, shows, cartoons when I was a kid. So anyway, um, I had this channel where I did like voices and impressions. It was called Pete Does Voices. I'll link it uh, down below. And anyway, I decided uh, to do like daily uh, impression videos, right? So I did like a hundred and something impression videos and I covered a whole range of different characters from different shows and movies and stuff that I enjoyed. Um, and it was just, it was fun. It was fun, but eventually I got burnt out and I, I didn't see like it was growing much. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I threw in the towel. However, fast forward to yesterday. If you've ever heard of Vanity Fair, they're huge. Uh, and on their YouTube channel, they did an, uh, like a skit or, or, you know, a segment, I should say, with Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob, because uh, it has been 20 years that SpongeBob SquarePants has been on the air on Nickelodeon. And they have this big like SpongeBob, like summer bash of 20 years uh, going on this Friday, I believe, 7 p.m. Eastern on uh, Nickelodeon to commemorate and celebrate the, the 20 years of SpongeBob. Uh, also to honor Steven Hillenberg, who was the creator of SpongeBob SquarePants. Also a very, very, very close friend of Tom Kenny, who sadly passed away uh, in the in the past year, they did this segment with Tom Kenny where he actually reviewed and listened to a whole bunch of uh, people on YouTube or wherever, where they did impressions of characters that he has played uh, and done voices for over the years, and he chose my heifer impression. Honestly, I. I myself thought I did like an okay impression, but evidently he actually liked the impression more than I did. I'm gonna just show you this little segment of the video where he mentions me. Uh, if you watch the actual video, which I have linked down below, it comes in at about six minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, if you wanna watch the whole video, which is really, really good. Um, but I will sh uh, link that below and I'm gonna show you the clip right now. Vanity Fair, please do not give me a copyright strike. I mean, technically you guys took my video, so <laughs> I guess we're just kind of doing the same thing. But anyway, guys, enjoy the clip and I'll be back with you in just a second. I'm ready. 
I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to look at impressions. Ah. Hey! How about the personals? Hey, Rocco. Ooh, I love chicken. Man, you really caved on that pogo stick. I definitely thought you were going to keep it. Wow. Rocco's Modern Life and Heifer was the first regular animated series I was ever on. So that's a really important one for me. It's where I first met Steven Hillenberg, who would go on to create SpongeBob. Steve was a creative director on Rocco's Modern Life. When I went into audition for Heifer, I did my uh, basically an impression of my nephew who at the time was like 13, 14 years old, but he always acted like he was on the verge of laughing, <laughs> like he was always holding in a laugh. What this guy nails is that, that kind of going up at the end of the sentences, hey Rocco, it's always kind of going up at the end, he never goes down at the end, he always goes up at the end. It's a little bit of like valley speak valley girl, where everything ends on an up. Mind blown. When I first saw the video, my mind literally like exploded and I freaked out. I almost scared the hell out of my girlfriend. We were in the car driving when I actually saw the video. Uh, because after after uh, Pablo told me about it, I was like, what is he talking about? So I decided to open up YouTube and the first thing that popped up on my phone, on my recommended, was the Tom Kenny video. And when I started watching it, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, I hope he doesn't review my SpongeBob impression because my SpongeBob impression was not a good one because he reviewed some people who did SpongeBob and a few of the other characters that he did, uh, like the mayor from the Powerpuff Girls was also him. So people did impressions of that, but I'm so glad he at least picked my heifer impression because that one was actually decent, you know? Uh, so I'm freaking out. My girlfriend's like, oh my God, what? And I show her, you know, we pulled over and I showed her what it was and she was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Congratulations. It's just everything like flipped upside down yesterday. Yesterday. Like I started getting comments from people, uh, a bunch of you guys reached out, uh, friends and family have reached out like that. I didn't even send them the video. It's just the video is the number one, uh, excuse me, the number two, number one. It's the second uh, uh, trending video currently in the past 24 hours on all of YouTube worldwide. The video has like 3 million views on it. So I've literally been seen by millions of people within 24 hours and it is amazing. And there was a ton of comments uh, in the actual Vanity Fair video in the comments section um, of people like congratulating me and thanking me and stuff and saying how good it was. I mean, it was just awesome. And then my impression channel started getting uh, subscribers and I was like, whoa, look at this. And now I think it's up to like 200 and something or whatever. I think I only had like 100 and whatever on there. I didn't have much. But like I said, I'll link that in the description down below if you want to subscribe there. But it's just it's so surreal. And then out of nowhere, when this was all going on yesterday, my my inbox, like my personal email and the email for that channel started getting blown up. And I was like, what? Like, like with all these people like thanking me, saying it was great. Plus there were some other things that I cannot talk about because perhaps I, I may consider one of these, one of the things that was mentioned. Uh, let, let, let's just put it this way. I don't want to jump the gun just yet. Okay. But there were some emails from some important people <laughs> all i'm gonna say some some very important people basically the big time people emailed me okay that's what that's what i'm gonna say and, I, and, I'm, and i'm not saying that's a brag it's just i'm in disbelief i'm like in shock i can't believe it so with that being said that's pretty much what happened and i'm just blown away so to tom kenny if you're watching this and to vanity fair i'm probably gonna repeat myself later in the end of this video but Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I've always had interest in voice acting and I really hope that this opens up some doors for me uh, for that kind of a career because I would love nothing more than to, to do voice acting. Uh, I've always loved cartoons. I'm a big kid. I never grew up and I'm proud of it. This was just amazing and I wanted to share it with you because a lot, like I said, a ton of you guys have already reached out to me. I've, a bunch of you guys have been leaving comments on my videos, talking to me about it. So it, it's it's just amazing. It really is truly amazing. And thank you to everybody in the chat for all the, the nice things you're saying and everything. It's just, it's awesome. It, it's just nothing like this has ever happened to me. And I guess it's true. What comes around goes around or goes around comes around, you know? I've been trying so hard to keep my karma as strong as possible just to be nice to people and to be humble and grateful and uh it just goes to show that good things can happen to people you know what i mean at uh you know the world isn't always in shambles and, and and this is why i always talk about being positive you know always keep that positivity flowing and growing no matter what because you never know what's coming around the corner something great can be coming around the corner what do you guys think let me know your thoughts down below and that's basically what happened okay so 
now that you know how it went down, what happened, here is my question for all of you watching right now. Do you think that with this happening, it's like a sign from the universe or something that I should continue pursuing this channel? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, and also let me know what your favorite cartoon character of all time is down below in the chat or in the comments or whatever, wherever you're seeing this right now. And if you like what you see so far, definitely make sure to subscribe down below, hit that red button and turn that notification bell on so that you don't miss any of our future uploads here on this channel. But until next time, everybody, smash that like button on your way out. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for so much for your support. And of course, Tom Kenny and Vanity Fair, thank you all. Thank you both so much for giving me this opportunity and changing my life. It's just, it's an absolute honor. So on that note, everybody, thank you so much for watching right here on Pete Does Voices. And I hope to see you in the next one, whenever that may be. Thanks.